Today, I'm cooking one of my favorite noodles, Hokkien Mee. It uses a lot of ingredients, but trust me, this is so worth it. This recipe is for 6 to 8 servings. The ingredients needed are 515 grams of thick yellow noodles, 200 grams of choy sam clean with stems and the leaves separated, 200 grams of cabbage cut into 2 inches square, 500 ml of water, 200 grams of boneless chicken, 200 grams of pork shoulder slices, 100 grams of fish cake cut into thin slices, 3 tablespoons of thick sweet soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 and half tablespoon of light soy sauce, quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, 3 tablespoons of crispy pork lard. This is homemade crispy pork lard. The link is in the description box. 2 tablespoons of pork fat or pork oil, 3 tablespoons of chopped garlic, 1 teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, half tablespoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of tapioca flour, and 80 grams of cut carrot. Start with marinating the chicken and pork. Sprinkle half a teaspoon of the salt on each bowl and marinate it. Leave it aside. Next, mix the sauce. In a large bowl, put in all the sugar, pepper, sesame oil, oyster sauce, light soy sauce, and thick soy sauce. Give it a mix until well combined. Leave it aside. Next, add in 5 tablespoons of water in the tapioca flour. Stir until flour has dissolved. Leave it aside. Now we can cook the Hokkien Mee. Switch on the heat to high. Add in about 1 liter of water and bring it to boil. This will take around 3 to 4 minutes for the water to come to roaring boil. When the water is boiling, cut open the yellow mee packet and add it into hot water. Mix to evenly cook it. Blanch the noodle for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, the water is boiling again. The noodle should be a little soft and about 70% cooked. Switch off the heat, remove the noodle from the pan, pour it through the strainer, set the noodle aside. In the same pan, switch on the heat, add in about 2 cups of water. Use a spatula to scrape the bottom of the pan to rinse it. Discard the water. Put the pan on the stove. Add in 2 tablespoons of pork oil. Wait for the oil to get hot. Add in all of the garlic. Stir until the garlic releases aroma and turn golden brown. This will take about 1 minute. Alright, the garlic is ready. Remove most of it from the pan. Add in the pork and give it a stir. Add in the chicken. Continue to stir. Add in all of the carrot and give it a mix. Add in 2 tablespoons of seasoning sauce. And continue to stir for 10 to 15 seconds or until well combined. Add in all of the fish cake and stir for 30 seconds. Add in the choy sun stem. These ingredients will take longer to cook, so we put them together with the meat. Give it a stir. Add in about quarter cup of water.
Cover the lid and allow it to cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, open the lid. See, the meat and vegetable are well cooked. Next, add in the yellow meat and stir until well incorporated. Wow, this looks so yummy. Add in the cabbage. This may seem like a lot, but after it softens, the volume will reduce. Next, add in 1 and 3 quarter cups of water. Continue to mix until cabbage is slightly soft. Looks like all the ingredients are well incorporated. Now, add in the seasoning sauce. Pour all of it in. And mix to evenly coat all the ingredients. Cover the lid and allow it to cook for 2 more minutes. After 2 minutes, the gravy is boiling. The noodles should be soft and well cooked. Now I can give it a taste. Very tasty. At this stage, more seasoning can be added as preferred. But this is already perfect. Add in the choy sum leaf, which will cook very fast. Stir for about 20 seconds, all until softened and incorporated with the noodles. Alright, this looks okay. If the leaves are clumps together, try to separate them. Add in the flour mix to thicken the gravy. Stir until the gravy becomes thick and well mixed. Switch off the heat. Add in all of the fried garlic for the lovely fragrance. And the final touch, the crispy pork lard. Stir to mix well. So lovely. Alright, we are done for the yummy Hokkien Mee. Now we can dish out and serve. Sprinkle more of the crispy pork lard. This is heaven. Let's eat. Wow, so delicious, so tasty, smooth and flavorful. Have it with cut chili and garlic. Super! Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!